Hello everyone. Well, today we're going to have an idea. I'm going to give you an idea about how national exam would be like. So, considering national exam of, is composed of three parts. The first part is a text with comprehension questions, as you can see here. We have a, a, a paper just for a text, right? And the second paper in which we have um, the questions of comprehension. So the second part of the international exam is a uh, language, which is on 15 points. The last part is on writing, which is on 10, po 10 points. So what am I going to do, in, uh, I mean, in this video, is just I'm going to explain to you um, questions related to comprehension and um, language as well, uh, language questions. So this is what you are going to see uh, next. We're going to have a listen about how to deal with comprehension and language questions in the national exam, which means that this lesson is just for second year baccalaureate students. Right, move on. So as you can see here, we have here a text. So it's a, a text, as you can see, it's composed of six paragraphs. The first thing you have to bear in mind is how many paragraphs have we got. And the, the second thing you should bear in mind after uh, knowing how many paragraphs you have got, you have to have a look at the pictures or the photos you've got there. The third thing you have to know is that is of course sometimes they give you a title of the text and here the title is on Inspiring Women from Morocco. So now we are going to go in detail with the questions that you are going to have in the national exam, especially the comprehension. So this is it here, this is the paper. As you can see, we have many questions. We have question A, B, C, D, and uh, then we have E, F, and so on, right? So we start with question A. We have here filling the chart with the right information from the text. So as you can see, this is the chart. Is the table here that you've got and we have many information in it we have number one name of the women woman number two money donated number three purpose number four place and region so question b now is about true or false and of course it's not enough just to write true or false you have to justify so now let's go now to question number c which is answer these questions here we call this one we call them of course wh questions just to remind you of some of them we have number one we have what we use it for general information we have when we use it for time we have where for place we have who for person we have how for manner how much for quantity and then we have uh, how long for duration how many for number and how old for age now let's move on to question d Question D, we have complete the following sentences with the information from the text. Here, you should, me, this question means that you have to finish the ideas, which means they give you the beginning of an idea, or the first part of an idea, and you have to finish it from the text. Right, now we're going to move now. Question E, which we are still in the uh, comprehension questions uh, section. We have the question here, finding the text words that mean uh, the same as. Here, the question means that you have to look for the synonym of the given words. Here. Now let's go now to question F. Question F mean, uh, uh, says what do the underlined words in the text refer to? It means that uh, you have to find the reference of the underlined words. So this is all concerning section number one, which is about comprehension questions section. Now we're going to move down to the second part, which is about the language section. In the language section, as you can see here, we have next to it, we have 15 points. As you can see here, concerning the language, uh, we have question A. Uh, we have here two sentences, and in these two sentences, we have what we call multiple choice questions, because you have uh, uh, here two different lessons. Right, now let's go now to the second question B. In this question here, again, uh, we have give the correct form of the words in brackets. We have here words, which means the words, we have nouns there. Uh, here, uh, this question means that you have to choose the words between brackets in the correct form, which means it's about prefixes and suffixes. So let's go now to question C. 
Again here, concerning question C, we have uh, three sentences. We have sentence number one, number two, and number three. Again, as I told you in question A, the same thing can be applied in question C. So in question C, we have three sentences, which means that you have three, uh, three lessons. So each sentence represents a lesson. So the first sentence is about reported speech, as you can see here. Number two, we have they will equip highways with sophisticated cameras. We have highways. The sentence starts, starts with highways, which means it is about the passive voice. Question number three. I think I guess you guessed uh, the meaning of it, or which sent, which uh, listen is that it's about conditional type three. Right now we are going to move to question D. Uh, let's read the question here. We have put the verbs in brackets in the correct form. So here, uh, the verbs between brackets uh, is about, you have to, uh, to give here the correct tense of, uh, of the verb. Uh, and I think we did so many exercises about that. Now we finished with A, B, C and D. Let's go now to uh, next questions, which is E. Here we have fill in the blanks with the appropriate words from the list. Again here, you are given uh, multiple choice questions again which means you are, you, are, you are having two different lessons. Here we have, as you can see, I think this is the classic example of uh, functions. Uh, you are going to have a chart, expressions on the first side and functions on the other side. You have to define uh, which uh, function uh, that you've got. So you should here memorize at least three expressions of each function. It's a very easy, easy question, so don't miss it. You, you shouldn't miss that. Concerning how to answer, as you can see at the bottom uh, of the table, at the bottom of the table we have four, uh, four answers. We have one, two, three, and four. Either you write A, B, C, or D in the correct uh, um, in the correct place. So I think that's all for concerning the last uh, example concerning uh, question F. Uh, as I told you, it's a very easy question, so don't miss it. So I think this is all concerning our uh, my explanation concerning the uh, first part of the national exam about comprehension question and the second one, which is about the language uh, language uh, um, questions. So I think that's it. Uh, this is the end of, uh, of this video. We're going to uh, meet in another video with other lessons.